Hi everyone, welcome back to AR Study Desk. In this video, we'll be looking at the topic development of surfaces. In simple terms, development of a surface can be defined as the unfolding or unrolling of a 3D object into a plane figure. In engineering graphics, we will study the development of simple solids. We shall see the development of each solid one by one. First one is a square prism. I shall name the top as A, B, C, D and the bottom as 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the base edge of this square prism has a length of A units and the height is H units. Now, when you develop a prism, a cylinder or a cube, you usually draw a reference line. This is just a reference line, it is not our XY line. As I said before, development means unfolding or unrolling a 3D object. Here, I will be unfolding this square prism. This square prism can be assumed to be made of 4 rectangular faces and a base and a top. Now, if I cut along this A1 using a scissors and unfold it, you will get it like this. Am I right? This is called the full development of this square prism in which this length is 4a because each base edge is a and the height is nothing but h. This is called the full development of this square prism. Why? Because here all the faces as well as the top and the base is shown here. Suppose if only the development of these faces are shown in this figure, then it is called the development of the lateral surface of this square prism. Now, you should name these corners. You know, the top corners are A, B, C, D. So, you can start naming like A, B, C, D. Now, this corner is nothing but our starting corner, which is nothing but so you can name the bottom corners 1, 2, 3, 4 and again this point will be 1. If the top and the base are named in order, then it is very easy to name it in the development also. So here it will be A, B and this will be C and this is D. Here this is 1, 2 and this is 3 and this is 4. Okay. Now in the problems, you will have to draw the simple portion of the solid according to the question. Instead of this 3D figure, you will be drawing the orthographic projection that is the front view and top view of the solid here. Now we shall move to the next solid and that is a pyramid and here it is a hexagonal pyramid. I will name the base as A, B, C, D, E, F and the apex is and the base side of this hexagonal pyramid measures A units and its slant edge measures L units. Now let us see how to develop this. You mark the apex first, then draw the true length of the slant edge here, like this. Now with O as center and this length as radius, you draw an arc like this. And take the length of the base edge, that is A units in your compass. Keep your compass here and cut the arc like this. And again keep your compass here, again cut the arc. Since here it is a hexagonal pyramid, continue this process 6 times so that you get 6 divisions in the arc. Now join all these points using straight lines which represents our base edge and that is of length A units. Now you can join this apex to all these points like this. So this point I will name it as A. So this is B, C, D, E, F. Again this point will be A. So this is called the development of the lateral surface of this hexagonal pyramid. If the complete development of this hexagonal pyramid is asked, you should draw this base 
which is a hexagon like this so as i have named the base in order in the development also i can name it in order so this is d and this is e which means this will be c this is b this is a and this will be nothing but f for my convenience i have drawn it here you can connect this hexagon at any of this base edges and the most important point while developing a pyramid is that this length with which you draw this arc should be the true length of the slant edge so from the simple position if the true length is not visible either in the front or top views you have to find the true length of the slant edge before drawing the development and how do you get the true length in the front view just make the top view of the slant edge parallel so that you get the true length of the slant edge in the front view hope the development of a pyramid is clear to you now we shall move to the development of a cylinder with the radius of the base circle as r and height h if i cut this cylinder along this generator it is very clear that i'll get a rectangle like this that is the development of the lateral surface of this cylinder and what will be the length of this rectangle it is nothing but the circumference of this circle that is 2 pi r we know that 2 r is d so i can represent this also as pi d now the width of the rectangle is nothing but h now if you want to show the full development of this cylinder you have to show two circles one at the top and other one at the bottom like this i can draw this circle anywhere on the top also this circle anywhere at the bottom hope this is very clear to you now we will move to the development of a corn with the radius of the base circle as r and the slant height as l now if you develop the lateral surface of this corn what will you get you will get nothing but a sector like this you will get a sector okay what will be the radius of that sector it will be nothing but the slant height of this corn and what is the included angle of that sector that included angle can be found out using the relation theta is equal to r by l into 360 degrees so mark the apex o and draw the slant height at any angle like this now you will get the angle here in degrees this r is nothing but the radius of the base circle of the corn and this l you should measure it from the orthographic projection that is slant height of the corn when you substitute these two values make sure that both these have the same units so you will get the angle theta from here and with reference to this line you can draw the slant height again at angle theta now with center o and radius equal to the slant height you can draw an arc like this to complete the development of the lateral surface of the corn now if you need the full development what you should do you have to mark the development of the base also so we can mark that circle anywhere in this arc so for my convenience i'll draw the base circle over here hope the topic development of surfaces is clear to you as i said before when you are asked a question on development of surfaces you should first draw the simple portion of the solid according to the question and then draw the development and we have complex questions on development like this corn is cut using a section plane which is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp and the top portion is removed draw the development of the remaining portion of the corn such questions are to be solved 
so you can get different type of questions in our app which can be downloaded from google play store thank you for watching happy learning